Hey guys, the gals, what's going on? It's your Mike here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Mike's Discussions. This episode's topic will be Sonic Forces, my opinions on the game, even though we haven't played the game yet, but you yeah, know what? Mm, judging by the marketing. Anyway, let's discuss the gameplay first, as a, our first topic. Um, there's three gameplay styles within the game. You have Modern Sonic, Classic Sonic, and the Custom Character. And they are... Well, let's talk about Modern Sonic first. Modern Sonic is kind of same old, same old, using enemies to get boost and the wisps, you know, the little wisps to so get his boost meter up. And he boosts, he platforms, he only attacks, he does everything you'd expect Modern Sonic to do. From the formula that was from Sonic Unleash, Colors, and Generations. It's good. I just hope, my one hope for it is, is pure 3D. No 2D segments, please. Leave that to Classic Sonic and the custom character, you know? Uh, Modern Sonic has to be pure 3D this time around. Unlike, um... Unlike Unleashed, Colors, and Generations, especially Colors, holy shit. Anyways, um, yeah. It's just gonna be same old, same old. Um, my one minor gripe with the Modern Sonic gameplay is, every time you boost, the, the soundtrack slash music becomes a little bit suppressed, you know what I mean? And it's like, eh, I wanna listen to the music, man, and I sometimes don't wanna boost. And I also hope they put some preference on platforming rather than us holding the square button and homing attacking the whole time. Time, you know? I want to platform every now and then, you know? Not like awkwardly like an unleash, but maybe they can do it better in forces, you know? Learn from their mistakes. And let's move on to Classic Sonic. Um. He's okay, I guess. Um, he just doesn't need to be in this game. He, I mean, the only real change I've seen to him is he, he has a drop dash from Sonic Mania now. That's cool. I don't think they fi fixed his physics from uh, Sonic Generations, which is not a main, major problem with me, but it's a problem to some people. That's why some people hold a little bit of gripes for Sonic Generations, because of classic Sonic physics. Eh, it's, it's an enemy. Classic Sonic doesn't need to be in this game. He kind of feels like the third wheel of the group between Sonic and the custom character. He's kind of here just as a crutch, you know? Modern Sonic's been having hard times. It's kind of shaky with him, you know? And the custom character's a brand new innovative thing, so they're just putting Classic Sonic in to play it safe, you know what I mean? <sighs> Which, I hope this trend doesn't continue, because I'd want to play something else, you know? But if he's taking up all the 2D segments from Modern Sonic, I'll be happy with his existence then. Because, eh, please let Modern Sonic be pure 3D. Anyway, let's move on to the third character, the custom character. Oh my gosh, this is a game changer right here. Uh, all the jokes for years, don't, original character, don't steal. Deviant art, all over the internet, you know. This, the Sonic fanbase has at least made, like, one original character of themselves, you know? Here's a little challenge for you. I know a lot of people have told you, probably have told you to do this, but look up your first name, then the hedgehog. Here's a little bit of art of what I found of, of me. Anyways... <sighs> Holy crap, the custom character. This is a genius feature. Um, knowing how... <sighs> it's so marketable. Okay, so, um, first of all... It's just... Oh, I gotta get my thoughts together. Oh my god. Anyways. Um... Okay, so basically Sonic fanbase has been known to, like, make their own original characters. And, like, now we're making that a feature. And they're... And... Oh my gosh. Customize... Choose your own race, your own colors, your own gender, your own... Your weapons, your... Your tools, everything. A mix of 2D and 3D. Kind of reminding me of the Sonic Adventure style. Using the wisps. So the, cu the custom characters taking the wisps away from Modern Sonic. I mean, Modern Sonic still use the, like, boost wisps. Wisp from, like, um, Sonic Colors. That's cool. As long as he only uses that one. Because the custom character is going to ha have this little device. That's, like, the wisp little device thing. That allows him to use the wisp abilities. Which, I'm fine, you know? As long as the wisps play into the story somehow. Unlike Sonic Lost World, you know? And that's one of my great with Sonic Lost World, and not just mine, but with many other people's. The Wisp felt unnecessary, you know? They were just there to play it safe, I guess. But they're back now, Sonic Forces, and as long as they're just you mainly used by the custom character, I'm fine with them being there, and as long as they're relevant with the story. But back to the custom character itself. Oh my gosh! 
Okay. The second thing why it makes this game so much more marketable is because kids are getting creative nowadays, you know, with games such as Roblox, Terraria, Minecraft, etc. They want to create stuff. They want to be creative. They want to do their own thing. They don't want to be linear. Well, they can with the custom character in Sonic Forces. Oh my gosh. This was the retail value of, probably, of Sonic Forces probably from $50 to $40 to possibly $60, I'm thinking. Because, oh, kids might like, if this game's worth trending like Crash has recently, it's going to be like, you create your own custom character, kids, and then the sales will go up and up and up. It's crazy. But it's genius. Ah, uh, the marketability behind this character is great. And I also feel like it's testing the waters for, like, other possible returning characters, you know? Such as Knuckles, Tails, Amy, etc. You know, the Sonic cast. Um, which are returning in this game, and I'll get on that later on. But, yeah. Uh, it's just testing the waters for, uh, for us playing as someone other than Sonic and Sonic. You know what I mean? That's what, it's like you you know you want to play the, a different character than Sonic. Well, play as yourself, and it's pretty genius. I don't know if I want the custom character feature to show up in every Sonic game, but it'd be cool if he showed up in a couple. You know, I, like I don't want the custom character taking the slot away of a possible you know Shadow, like Silver, Amy, Knuckles. You know, all those other characters. I want to play those characters as well in the future, but this is pretty cool for now, you know? Make it very unique. Making Sonic Forces stand out from generations, colors, unleash, etc., you know? Because up until this point, it's kind of just been playing it safe, it almost looked like, you know, with modern Sonic and classic Sonic, but the custom character is such a big game changer. All right, moving on to the story. Yes, the story tone of the game. Um, it looks like it's taking a darker tone. But it doesn't look like it's going too dark. Basically, Eggman is taking taking over this big city area. You know, it, 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 everything's gone to hell. Death Egg robots everywhere. Um, it, everything's on fire and ruin. You know, and Sonic shows up. And classic Sonic shows up somehow, I guess. And the custom character is there. And pff, you know, and we also have this weird-looking meth 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 guy and returning villains from the series past. And of course, Eggman. For, before we talk about the story itself, well, we kind of did, well, the idea. Um, let's just talk about the tone this is taking. It looks like it's taking a, medi a darker tone, you know? Mediumly darker tone. Not going too high and edgy, like Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06. Not going over complicated. But it's going for a little bit of a darker tone, kind of similar to Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Unleashed, and Sonic and the Black Knight. You know, those games, it's taking a similar tone to those games, you know what I mean? And that is pretty cool right there with me. I know, I, I love Sonic mostly for the gameplay, but sometimes the stories can be very interesting and good, you know? I love those g game stories, and if Forces has a, has a tone that I'm thinking it has, it's going to be awesome for me, and other people who are fans of those type of games, because as of recently, due to marketability, I believe, and playing it safe, Sega has made Sonic games a little bit more kid-friendly in story tone with Sonic Colors and Sonic Generations, and Sonic Lost World was kind of edgy, but kind of not... I don't know, I like Lost World Story, it's just, <laughs> well, the dialogue, I, Mike Pollock is a treat in that game, but, um, yeah, Lost World is a mixed bag, and Sonic Boom is going for almost pure comedy, and Rise of Lyric is kind of, and kind of forgettable, let's just hope we can, well, story-wise, gameplay-wise, <laughs> different story, but, yeah, I'm hope I have high hopes for this game story, and people are making theories right now that like this is the sequel to Sonic Chronicles. Like, what happened after Sonic and the gang came back? You know, I doubt it. I doubt this is true. But theorize all you want. 
It's, I, because Sonic Chronicles is not very marketable and no one remembers the game like that, you know what I mean? But still, um, it's alright. And uh, <laughs> let's bring up this Mephilus looking guy and the four returning villains. Um, this Mephilus looking guy, he's alright. He's got some cool powers from the looks of it. We don't know much about him as, a, as it currently stands, and I'm going to wait to talk about him until we find out more information or the game comes out itself. Anyway, I just hope he's not like another time eater or anything, just there. Anyways, moving on to the returning villain slash rivals. Shadow the returning villain slash rival. I don't like this. I mean, I do. It gives Shadow something to do other than just stand in the background and say, You got this, Sonic. But it's like... Eh. Oh. I, I hope they justify this. And... Uh, they can pull out the mi mind control card like they did with Sonic Boom Shadow Crystal. But it's like... Uh, 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 um. This ruins Shadow's story arc, goddammit. I know Sonic games are not much for consistency. The whole Eggman blowing up the moon thing, etc. You know? And the whole ring from uh, Chip and Sonic Colors and all that. Uh, oh wait, Chip and Sonic Colors bleh, unleashed. Smack me now, internet. Anyways, yeah, um, I don't know, I mean, Shadow feel, his story arc felt complete with Sonic 06, you know, he's f redeemed himself, he knows who he is, he's all good after Shadow the Hedgehog and Sonic 06, and he's not a cyborg, he's Shadow and all that stuff, you know, but, I don't know, I hope they justify Shadow and Sonic Forces, and same for the next guy, Chaos, um, same thing with him, except to a lesser degree, you know. Um, lower on the scale, you know. After Sonic Adventure, um, at the end of Sonic Adventure, Chaos became a good guy, you know, redeemed himself, went back into the Master Emerald, and, um, yeah. And, you know, he just mutated Chow. His character arc, if you can call it that, was done. He was a good guy, he was c cool. Maybe he became a villain in Sonic Forces because Knuckles doesn't guard that goddamn emerald and rather go play uh, kind of hoverboarding and all that stuff and appear in the background of the Amy Rose and Sonic Lost World. Anyways, yeah, um, that's just a little joke there. Anyways, Chaos, I mean, after Sonic Adventure, he only appeared as like multiplayer stuff and like little references. In Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, he was in the multiplayer as a playable character. And he appeared as, like, a little enemy type, like a little type of chaos thing in Sonic Adventure 2 on the arc, if you remember them. Um, and he also appeared in Sonic Battle, and that's it from what, from what I know. Yeah, also in Sonic Generations, but he was also justified there because I was traveling back in time and stuff. In this game, I hope they justify chaos as well, you know. That or else they just ruin his story arc he had from Sonic Adventure. Anyways, moving on to Metal Sonic. Yeah, I kind of expected him to be in this game. Um, he's either just going to be a standard boss fight, or he's just going to be there, I guess. As like a, or like maybe he can be like yeah, how he was in Sonic Heroes, or like Knuckles Chaotix. He became he becomes a giant boss, be a big plot twist to, to everyone, you know. Like, a uh, Metal Overlord return for a boss fight or something from Sonic Heroes, or like that one form from Knuckles Chaotix. Th that would be cool, you know? If he turns into, like, Mecha... 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 Mecha Sonic! <laughs> yeah, that one form from Sonic Heroes, you know what I mean? That would be cool. But other than that, I think he's just gonna be there for boss fights, because Metal Sonic can't speak. In his standard form. And uh, that one dude, Bow the Ripoff from Sonic Lost World. Um, eh, no one really cares about him, to be honest. He's just a stereotype in Sonic Lost World. And I doubt he's going to be anything big in, you know, Sonic Forces. He's just going to be there, I feel. And I'm going to be fine with it. Anyways, 
that's pretty much all I have to comment on the story. Well, aside from the whole resistance idea, that is genius! Maybe we can get the Archie Comics characters up in here, you know? Sally Acorn, Rover, you know, Antoine, all of them, you know? Bubsy! <laughs> oh my gosh, Bubsy. Anyways, yeah, the resi resistance idea is pretty cool. People are saying that Sonic has been gone for years for, in some... For something or something like that, and like Tails has given up hope, and like ends up we have a resistance right now. Everyone on the sidelines cheering them on, so the Sonic on, like in Sonic Generations, and the custom character, and it's and it's pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's move on to the next topic. That being music. Um. Okay, I love the music for this game already. Um, we have vocal tracks back. Finally. The last original vocal track was in 2010 for, was Reach for the Stars with Sonic Colors. I'm not counting the remixes from um, Sonic Generations. Original vocal track's last one was in Sonic Colors seven years ago. And my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm going to leave the link to the music down below. The main theme, Fist Bump, the instrumental version of Fist Bump, and Park Avenue. Because I've been listening to these songs non-stop. It, it, it's kind of a problem, but it's like... Mm. Oh my gosh, I love them. Fist Bump has got that rock and roll feel to it. That cheesy rock and roll feel. That Sonic had, like, in Sonic Heroes. And, like, what I'm made of and all that stuff, you know? Or, you know. You know, you know. Blah. <laughs> and, um, yeah. And Park Avenue is just... Here come the enemies. Strike them down. You can't let evil win take them out. This is justice. This is what's right. <laughs> I fucking love that shit, you know? And, like, the vocals are very good, you know? I hope the custom character isn't the only one with vocal tracks in a stage, you know? I mean, I hope Modern Sonic gets some vocal tracks in it, you know? But, but still, oh my gosh, the music's good. Link the description down below. Check out, check them out. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And let's talk about a little bit of fan service when it comes to this game. Now, some can debate the custom character with fan service, and I kind of think it is, but it's also very good for marketability and innovation, as I stated earlier. Um, bringing Shadow Metal Sonic, um, that one guy from Lost World is kind of fan service, and Chaos Back are all fan service as well. Classic Sonic's also fan service, and, ex and also, throughout the stages, you'll hear various Sonic characters from the past talk to you and give you dialogue and telling you what's going on. I like that idea, you know? As long as it doesn't get annoying, like with Sonic Heroes and Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, you know what I mean? We gotta destroy all those Eggman's robots! Uh, anywho, it's just... I'm cool with it, you know? I'm happy they're bringing back the old characters in some way. I prefer them playable, but I understand. But that's kind of a risk right now, I guess. I'm happy, excuse me, I'm just happy they're using them in like some way or another. And last topic. What this game means to the future of the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise. <sighs> Sonic, as of recently, as we all know, has been in mixed spots, you know. He's had his good, his bad, his <sighs> meh. You know, it's just, eh. But Sonic Forces, I have, the f I have a feeling this in Mania is going to bring Sonic back on good. Like, relevancy again, you know? Not the, punching ba not the punching bag of the gaming industry anymore. I have a feeling Sonic Forces and Sonic Mania are both just, just going to bring Sonic back, you know? And I'm really happy about that, you know? Well, at least I hope, you know. Hopefully, they don't bomb. I don't think they're going to bomb. Well, at least Mania. I don't think Forces is going to bomb either. I think it's going to do great, but... I don't know. <laughs> I'm an optimist. Um, but yeah, I have high hopes for Forces. And, I, and, after, and after Forces, I have high hopes for the Sonic franchise in general. Yeah, um, that's all my thoughts right there. Um, I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the discussion. Um, if you did, uh, like... Comment, subscribe, join the notification squad if you want to, you know, get more uploads from me, you know. Um, I do live streams and, and different type of videos. Um, 
yeah, um, follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the descri link will be in the de in the description down below. And uh, click the the many video the um the videos on screen in the playlist on screen to go check out some of my other content. You know, <laughs> if you want. Um. Anyways, I'll I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Meister out.